Hello, hello! This video is about taking yourself out on an artist date. So for my artist date, I like to go to a local bakery and get a lot of sweet matcha-related treats for myself. This idea comes from The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. And the book really places an emphasis on self-care and taking yourself out every week. At first I thought, I don't think I have time for this. But after I did it a couple times, I felt a real peace of mind after going out. Not only that, I was more productive after my break and worked even faster than previously, so it was nice to just pause and be alone with my thoughts for a while. I've also been journaling a lot recently. This is my Hobonichi cousin. It's a Japanese planner. I really love it. There's enough space for me to track what I'm doing hourly and then write what I'm doing daily in a diary entry format. And then there's also these really cute quotes on each uh, day that kind of brighten your day as you read them. I think it's a good way to keep track of your thoughts and take a step back from your life and view it from like an outsider point of view and see are you doing what you want to do every day or are you kind of living your life for someone else. It's easy to think of uh, writing in a diary as silly, but life is not just a single goal achievement. It's a bunch of small steps along the way and we have to make sure to enjoy every little bit of it. Another thing I got really excited about when getting this planner was stickers. Um, I use stickers as an emoji in the planner to say how I'm feeling and just the act of peeling themselves off I just find really fun. It's important to do these little things for ourselves that we find fun because if we don't do self-care we become very brittle and when we become brittle we're more emotional, more reactive to criticism. But when we get self-care, it's more easy to go with the flow every day and be receptive to wherever creativity takes us. As we get older and busier in our lives, work seems to take on a life of its own. We place a lot of importance on how much we get done, when we get it done, and even how much we make from what we get done. We end up seeing the art as more important than ourselves, when in reality, without the artist, there is no art. We not only need to take care of ourselves mentally, but physically as well, which involves working out, you know, at least once a week so our bodies don't fade and we can keep making art until we're really old. We have no idea what's going to happen in the future, but can better ourselves in the present to be more ready for whatever comes our way. It's funny how I say that because as soon as I got home, uh, my dog, he actually tore up one of my drawing reference figures that I haven't used in a while, but I found it useful like if you want to hold something in your hand and see the figure in different perspectives. So, you know, but you know, I'm very flexible. I just spent a lot of time relaxing, so I'm not angry at him. I feel like he was just saying, you know, you can draw with that reference, mom. It's okay. <laughs> okay, bad. Bad dog. No. Bad. You did this.